Good morning, Quack Captain 101 here. And today's shout out goes to Felix Drones RC. Felix was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quack Captain 101 here, and welcome to another review for another neat drone. This is the 40RC V5. What is the V5? Well, you can tell right away by looking at this is intended for beginner flyers, total beginner flyers, and kids, actually, for children too. Uh, with this protective ring around it, it, it should be relatively safe uh, for most flying. But let's take a closer look at the drone. As you can tell, it is a brushless motor drone. It's meant for beginner pilots, again, with the brushless motor being the safest to use. Uh, this one does come with a camera, but there's also a camera-less version for about $10 cheaper. So if the, the price of the camera version is a little too high for you, you can go with a cheaper version of this. Um, it... The camera itself, they say it's uh, 1080p. Uh, flights I've done with it so far, I think it's interpolated up to 1080p. They also say it's 4K uh, using the app. I guess the app will can uh, interpolate it to even larger, but I would not recommend it because you're not going to get any improvement. And again, don't expect in a, a drone of this at this price range, you know, in the twenty to thirty dollar price range, of seeing a uh, cinematic style camera. You're just not going to get that in this price range, folks, okay? This is just a G-Wiz camera so that you can fly it while in the air and actually look down, maybe see yourself on the ground, <laughs> and give your, you know, just a basic, basic camera is all, is what comes with this particular drone. Um, it The battery for this, um, they're advertising this as a 700 milliamp hour battery. Actually, folks, I, and it's, they're saying it gives it about 10 minutes of flight time. I'm taking a look at this right now. I'll tell you, this is, I'd say this is about a 300 milliamp per hour, if if any, if that even, you know, about 200 to 300 milliamp per hour battery. I would expect, and realistically, we haven't, I haven't tested it yet, but I would expect a flight time for this battery of, uh, I don't know, under five minutes. <laughs> we'll see when we go fly in it. Uh, I'll confirm what the actual flight time is. But it is a proprietary battery. You are going to need to buy... Uh, if you wish to get extra batteries with this, I recommend purchasing these batteries at the time of purchase uh, to get it bundled with a drone. You will not probably, you will not, let's just say you will not be able to get these after you purchase the drone. You know, you can't buy these separately. Uh, I recommend getting them bundled at the time of purchase with the drone. Um, they offer two and three spare batteries uh, as additional purchase if you wish to buy additional batteries. So keep that in mind, folks. Um, the battery itself is charged in a proprietary charger. So you're going to need to use this particular charger to charge this battery, the charger that comes with it. And the way this goes in the charger and in the drone itself is you sl it slides in and snaps in place like so. It slides into place and snaps in place. Um, the drone does have an on-off switch on it. And let's turn it off on momentarily here to show you that it does come with LED lights embedded inside the protective ring for this drone. So this is very colorful at night, especially in flying indoors. And again, this is mainly meant to be flown indoors, folks. Um, I'm going to do a little flight outdoors to show you the limitations of flying this outdoors. But because of this ring here, I, I can see this probably being an issue outdoors, especially if there's any wind. Because these prop guards usually, especially these big ones like this, usually end up being sails in the wind and and really degrade the performance if there's anyone. So again, this is mainly meant for indoor flying during these cold winter months ahead here. So this is perfect for a kid to be flying indoors, uh, safely fly it indoors. Um, let's see, what else about it? Uh, that's about the, it for the drone. Let's go over the controller and its features. Now this, again, this drone does have uh, FPV capability since it's got this uh, camera on here, and it transmits over Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which most people should have, to your phone, and then you use the app for this, which is the 40RC, uh, I forgot the name, I'll put it right here, what the name is of this app, maybe it's in the instructions, hold on a second, folks. It uses the 40RC Fly app, which is available on Google Play and iTunes, and they include a... Uh, little uh, link for you to get it on um, Google Play and iTunes. I'll also include a link down below in the description, the video description of where to get this app for this particular drone. Okay, going over the controller itself, basic controller, 
The this shoulder button here is for different rates for increasing the speed of the drone. And what it does is, is you, each time you press it, it allows the drone to pitch a little more steeply, uh, enabling a little more speed for the drone. Um, and with the highest rate being the third. Uh, press of the button you'll hear three beeps and you'll know you're in high rate and that's the maximum speed of the drone this does have flip capability and you activate that by pressing this button here and then moving this control stick in the direction that you want the drone to flip and again I'll demonstrate that downstairs when we go flying in the indoor flight test facility <laughs> we have uh, throttle we have yaw for the drone and we have pitch for the drone and roll for the drone here this is your on off switch for connecting or turning on the controller and it has trim buttons these are trim buttons for pitch and for roll so if the drone is drifting off to the left momentarily press one two or three times on this right uh, trim button to stop that drift to the left and it'll, it may start going to the right if it starts going to the right press the left button if it's, if it's drifting forward press the back button and if it's drifting back press the forward button until the uh, drifting stops. Other buttons that we got on this, this has uh, two uh, acrobatic uh, features that are automatic for the drone. You press this button once and it'll spin and you press it again and it will actually do funnels and I'll demonstrate that downstairs too when we go flying. It does have headless mode by activating by pressing this button here and one key return. Now one key return is not return to home. All it does is it flies the opposite direction it was pointed at takeoff but to activate that you press and hold this button down and that will activate one key return it has headless or not headless mode it has altitude hold mode and automatic takeoff and automatic landing and to activate automatic takeoff and landing you press this button here once the drone is connected to the controller and it will automatically take off while in flight press it again and it will automatically land wherever it's at it has emergency stop which you activate by holding this button down here and uh, or no emergency stop by a quick press of this button here uh, I wanted to bring that up this this one here will cause the drone to drop out of the sky if you accidentally press this this is meant for uh, if the drone flips upside down and gets caught in the carpet to prevent damage to the motors you want to turn them off quickly just press that button there and that will turn off the motors instantly but again if you accidentally press this while it's flying and it will drop out of the sky it also has calibration um, if this has excessive drift put it on a flat level surface and press and hold this button down and that will recalibrate the gyros gyro um, stabilization system on board the drone so that it will uh, fly more steady so that in effect is the 40 rc or yeah 40 rc 4d v5 drone beginners learn to fly drone let's take it down into my flight test facility my basement and see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the Quadcopter 101 Indoor Flight Test Facility, also known as my basement. <laughs> okay, to start up the 40RC V5, we have the battery charged and installed, and we turn the on-off switch to on, and we notice that the lights are starting to blink. So we put it on the pad, like so, and we turn on the controller by pressing its on-off switch, and connect the controller to the drone by moving the throttle stick full up, then full down. And we notice the lights stopped blinking, so we are connected to the controller. We're ready to fly. So the next thing I need to do, that is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal right now. There's no internet, but it's transmitting a Wi-Fi signal with a video embedded to that signal. And I need to connect that signal to my phone. So why, why, wait on, folks. Hold on, folks, while I connect my phone to the Wi-Fi signal. And then I open the app, and I should be able to view the video. So hold on while I do that. Okay, this is the 4D Fly app available on Google Play and iTunes and I've connected the Wi-Fi to the phone and now I open the app then I hit play oh there we go <laughs> and we have feed from the drone coming to my phone okay we're gonna hit record we're gonna record today's flight and the first thing we need to do is take off and then we're gonna trim the drone using these trim buttons right here so automatic takeoff and we're gonna see if there's any drifting and there's some forward drifting so I'm gonna hit back Go up a bit higher, hit back, 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 back until that drifting stops, coming down a little lower. And it's drifting to the left a bit and backwards. So right trim and forward trim one button. And there we go. We got good hover. So we're ready to continue on with the flight. 
So the first thing we're going to try while we got battery power is flips. I'm going to get down on my knees so this looks a little better. Hitting the flip button, telling it right flip. Moving forward a bit. And a left flip. Coming back toward us. Let's go forward flip. And the back flip. So again, I hit the flip button and then tell it which direction to flip. Okay, let's try the circle uh, feature. Pressing that once. And it spins. Bringing it back closer toward us. Let's see that a little closer. Circle feature. Spin. So that works also. Coming down a little lower, coming a little forward with the camera recording and saying, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is my California Prop 64 shirt. <laughs> Those of you who get that one. <laughs> okay, next feature we're going to try is the funnel feature. Pressing and holding the turning button. And notice it does funnels automatically. Ain't that cool? Coming down a little lower. Automatically. I ain't doing anything, folks. And then pressing that button again. Actually, this is a pretty cool little drone for beginner pilots to learn to fly with. I, I kind of like this thing. It's uh, pretty stable. Okay, what have we tried next? Let's tr go uh, try headless mode. Okay, it was pointed that direction when I took off, so I'm going to hold this button down here. No, that's one key return, folks. Let's demonstrate one key return by holding that button down. Going over there, pressing the one key return, and here it comes back. Remember, one key return is not a true return to home, folks. Um, if I was off to the left, let's go over here and press one key return. It actually could fly away from me. So, see, it only goes in the opposite direction that it was pointed at takeoff. Okay, bringing it back here, I want to try headless mode. Quick press. We're in headless mode. So now, it don't matter which direction the drone is pointed. I can spin it. I can pirouette it. I'm just going forward, right, left. Again, headless mode is for beginner pilots to learn to fly with. They don't have to worry about which direction this thing's pointed. Let's link up the cameras, sync up the cameras. Okay, bringing it back toward me. And let's come out of headless mode and just do direct flying now. Quick press. And we should be to normal flying again. Okay, so let's try out the other features of this. Let's see how maneuverable it is. Going around the pillars there. Coming in a bit closer, and let's see, let's see if I can do manual. Um, I can do manual uh, funnels, <laughs> and all I'm doing, it, folks, is pushing forward and push, pushing forward on the right stick, and pushing to the right on the left stick, and that's how you do funnels. Let's go to higher rate, second rate. Let's try the funnels in second rate. Whoa, quite a bit, quite a bit more rapid. Funnels in second rate. And nice and maneuverable. And I'm sure that the third rate is extreme. Let's try that. Try the, uh, oh, not too, well, a little bit <laughs> extreme, but for not for beginners, third rate. Not for beginners, but for intermediate pilots and above, it is quite, quite maneuverable. <laughs> now, I did try this outdoors. Um, unfortunately, that ring, as predicted, does act as a sail in the wind. Okay, you know the ring there? Um, it's a little, it can't fight the wind in other words. You're gonna need a low wind day to fly this outdoors. But indoors, this is a great little drone. Going back to beginners. Okay, let's keep it up close and show it to you. Again, syncing up the cameras so my lips are moving in sequence correctly. <laughs> and rest of this. We're going to see if this has 15 minutes of flight time or even 10 minutes of flight time. I doubt it. Ah, I was right. See? That's starting to blink already. What does that mean, folks? Let me sync this up. That means our battery is getting weak. So, for the remainder of the flight, we're going to see how much more flight time we have, but I don't think we can do flips anymore. Let's try the flip button and see if that's true. No. Yeah. With low battery, as with most toy drones, once you reach the low battery state, forget about doing any further uh, f uh, acrobatic features. Let's try the spin. No, not even the spin's working. So, 
right now we, we're just going to uh, go with the rest of the flight. Uh, again, once you calibrate the, the trim on this, it's nice and stable. You're going to need to do that at the very beginning of the flight in a room with no wind. Trim it up and it becomes very stable and easy to fly. And there is its flight time. Let me hit the stop button on the recording. So, all in all, this is a nice, nice little drone to learn to fly. It's available with or without camera. Uh, the version I got is the camera version because everybody wants the camera. But without the camera, I'd recommend considering that one also, folks, because it's probably a bit lighter and probably give you more flight time. So, that's the 40RC V5, 4D V5 Ox Helifish. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they get these names? <laughs> it's Quadcopter 101. I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And I have a little break here in the weather here. I'm going to give it a try here to fly the 4DRC. we got a huge uh, storm coming in tonight with lots of snow. So I better get it out as I can right now. Okay, we are already connected to the app. And um, I'm going to have to open up the app. And first off, let's start the app. Start recording on my Mobazin screen recorder. Okay, this is Mobazin screen recorder available on Google Play and iTunes. I'm going to hit play. And we should have the FPV here show up here shortly. And there we do. And then I'm going to hit record. And we should be ready to fly. So now we've got a little bit of a breeze today. So I'm going to put this in the high rate for takeoff. And then take off by pressing this button here. And really, I want to see how this flies outdoors with wind. Now, it doesn't seem to care about wind. <laughs> this high rate, oh, there we go, going into the wind. I'm going out in the street here to fly. Let's take it up a bit and show you its camera. Going up higher. Higher and rotating. Oh, quick rotate. Sorry about that. Let's go to lower rate and rotate. And I going back to high rate, and then coming back down. Okay. Again, this is meant to be close in flyer, though, folks. And trying to flips closer. Wind's picking up. Let's see if it goes into that wind. And it does. <laughs> I'm trying to fight the wind out here. So yeah, well maybe not an outdoor flyer as much. But it is capable of outdoor. But just not super capable. Let's get it up close and do a flip. Coming by again. But again, beginners... Learn to fly. That flips very well. <laughs> okay, let's try these uh, features of the circle. I'm going to hold down the circle button. Oh, it doesn't want to do a circle. That means its power is getting low, I guess. I'm going to the intermediate or beginner. No. So, yeah. When the power gets low, it doesn't want to do those circle features. So come in, let's bring it in close so you see it up close. <laughs> Outdoor flyer? Yeah, not so much. And the range, I think, is rather limited too. And I'm looking at the camera. Um, you know, I can't see f folks flying FPV with this. You can get a quick picture of your neighborhood from up high. Do it one more time. Oh, no. Flying that way. The wind's coming from that direction now. Yeah, it's getting real breezy. <laughs> getting real breezy. Can't, and it's fighting it. It is fighting it. Although know, it's having problems because of that uh, little ring, you know, prop protector ring. Coming down a little lower here. I don't want to end up on my roof. But yeah, the wind's blowing it back. So. And I'm going to land it here shortly. 
third rate, full, full speed ahead, and it's not doing it. That one's getting too strong. So we're going to call it quits here, folks. Call it quits there. It's just too windy. So, yeah, not an outdoor flyer, not as much as an outdoor flyer as an indoor flyer for these cold winter nights ahead here. So let's here stop the video recording. So that's the 40RC, <laughs> what is it, V4, F4? <laughs> uh, beginners, beginners learn to fly drone. What's the name of this thing? The Ox, I forgot the name of that again. I like this name, Ox Elfish. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Let's get some light on it. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.